Hey AutoZoners, Chris Walker again. I just wanted to talk really quick about some of the nanoparticles that are used uh, in the making of the, all of the NanoCool and NanoProMT products. Uh, specifically, we've had some people talk about NanoCool and about the color of it. I know you have a lot of uh, the other competitors that are out there that are really just surfactants and all they do is pretty much just, uh, they change the surface tension of the water and it works for a little while and then it's gone. But uh, the thing about NanoCool that's really unique is it was actually developed during racing and we perfected the, the particle and the, also the percentage of uh, particles that are in the water or coolant in order to maximize heat transfer. And we've changed the formulation over the years and actually made it better. But one of the things we really had to work with, especially in water and in, uh, in uh, cooling applications is, is you really want to not affect the viscosity of the water and here you can kind of see the particles going into the water and what this does is your water pump mixes it and the particles will actually uh, the way they're made up and what they're made of will actually lubricate seals along with affecting the heat transfer of the water so basically what it does is a mechanical process whereas it's not a chemical process is your limiting factors are your radiator and your water or your coolant, right? So you can't change your radiator, but you can change how well your uh, how well your coolant, your water or your coolant works. And the nano cool works like that. Uh, it has uh, a certain percentage of nanoparticles, which we've talked about the size of nanoparticles before, but uh, it goes in and uh, improves the heat, uh, the the ability of the water to to grab onto heat and transfer it. So Anyway, just wanted to talk about those particles. Um, the other thing I want to talk about too was also in the uh, the Nano Pro penetrating lubricant as well as the dry. The same particles that are in the stabilizer are also in the gear oil. So the particles that do the heat transfer as well as lubricity are both in here. And then as far as the oil stabilizer is concerned, some people talked about some of the particles in it too. Uh, the reason that you add the uh, the nano oil stabilizer to four or four four or five other quarts of oil when you do an oil change is your base oil has add packs. They have packs that affect lubricity, that affect uh, the base viscosity. They have uh, viscosity uh, transform transformers in there, uh, and uh, but what the nano cool nano stabilizer as well as all the other particles do is they we go in and we affect both the the ability of the oil stabilizer to transfer heat as well as its lubricity. So your base oil does all the things it's supposed to do in terms of, of reusing the right viscosity and the viscosity modifiers. Uh, it has things in there to affect uh, uh, some of the, the corrosion as well as the ability of the oil to, 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 you know, to stay good over the life of your oil change. But what the oil, part, oil stabilizer does is is it goes in and the particles in it, just like in we showed on the nano cool, goes in, affects lubricity, affects heat transfer, and that's what they do. They're there to modify that part of the oil. Anyway, just want to talk about that real quick. Thanks for everything. Uh, don't forget to like us uh, on Facebook. Go to Twitter. Uh, follow us at NanoProMT as well as on Instagram. Thanks.